This is our second Connect tablet setup that we offer. It's very similar to the other that we sell with the dual Windows and Android operating system. However, this is just, um, we use, instead of a brand new tab, we use a refurbished Windows tablet, this one, with an aim to cut the cost. So the unit's very, very much the same. The tripod will fold back round with the press of a button in the side, then it converts to a trigger grip. And simply, if you want to change it back, have a button that can be used to level it off. Then there's the setup again in tripod form. So there's two icons down at the bottom, quite difficult to see, or you can press the start button and access the pre-installed software. So you've got two icons, basically one with the dots and the sensor bar, and then the one with just the sensor bar. So you've got the studio and the toolkit. So first of all, we want to open the studio, and then down at the bottom, we can just open up the toolbox. And from the toolbox, we'll, cut, we'll select one of the commonly used apps by a lot of people for the Stickman, which is the Connect Explorer D2D. So we just click Run there. Simple as that, and that'll open up. And basically, you'll see the camera and what the camera's looking at. Again, same again, colour screen can be connect, um, colour stream can be selected. And that's where you get your different options, such as infrared. So that's basically, if I turn the light off, um, you'll see that the camera's actually picking up infrared. And there's my hand in front of the camera. And that's just emitting um, the many tiny dots that you'll see. So obviously just looking at a door there. So I'll just set that back down there. So there's various other apps as well that can be used in the toolkit. Just simply close that down. We're back to square one. Um, we've got another demo that will show you um, below. That just gives you a demonstration how to record onto your Connect. So looking a bit more in detail, if you like to connect a setup to a PC instead of a tablet, you can just extend this lead by pulling gently, um, it will reach a maximum point, and then you can plug that into your PC and there's no need to use the tablet then. And then it just pushes back inside. Um, when you want to use it with a tablet, you basically connect the extension, you plug it in, and then you plug it into the USB. So the USB can be charged via uh, USB lead. So it gets capacity and then at the minute we're using a mains lead to power the sensor, which is supplied. And alternatively, you've got the battery pack and that takes eight AA batteries and then that just plugs in and then there's a little switch on the bottom that switches the sensor or the power on and off. So as you notice on the side, um, on some of the later editions, there's actually a little indicator to show you the power. That's what we've added on some of the later editions. So all in all, it's about £100 cheaper for this setup. I'd say it's as universal, as powerful, but it just hasn't got the dual OS 
um, tablet. So the tablet can be um, removed. You simply release the tablet and then you can push the holder back down and then lock it back off. So the tablets are in good condition. Benefit of having a Windows tablet as well is that it can be connected to um, different stores, a Windows App Store and different ghost hunting apps can be downloaded. It's also got a low resolution front and rear camera. So things like say apps like EVP recorders, voice recorders, etc. EMF sensors, ghost boxes, all sorts of apps are now readily available on most of the stores nowadays.